Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome to the new series Kali Quickie. Now this series is new and you probably haven't heard of it and you might be asking yourself what exactly is this guy doing? Well, Kali Quickie is essentially a 4 minute video where my goal or objective is to give you something to use or a quick tutorial uh, or you know a quick uh, little, you can say something like a quick tip uh, in Kali Linux and how uh, specifically on how to use a tool or to perform a specific task that can really really help uh, you know individually right so let's get started with today's topic now in today's topic what we're going to be doing or what I'm going to be showing you is how to add a non root user into Kali Linux all right so you might be asking yourself well why exactly do we know do we need this I thought we we need root and that's true uh, in Kali Linux most of the time you will be uh, you'll be required to use root level privileges right now the problem with root level pri privileges is that it, they do possess or they do have a they bring along a certain amount of risk all right now uh, you will see this many times as most of the applications or frameworks will force the you know will force you to use lower level privileges and they'll force you to to you know to exit root so root is important but it's also good to be also uh, functioning um, you know you know performing your normal tasks on a non root level so that you do not cause uh, any damage to your system uh, you know without you knowing with or without you knowing right so it's really very simple and uh, hopefully I can just show you how to do this really, really quickly. So open a terminal and yes, you have to be in your root account or you have to be in the account that has root privileges or the administrator account or rather. All right. So let me just zoom this in so we can see what's going on. All right. Now to use this uh, or to add a user, we use the add user. All right. We use the add user command and then we specify uh, the type. So no root. All right. So add user no root. And uh, th that is essentially the name of the, the account that we're creating. So that's the name. Uh, so there we are. We, it's adding uh, user no root. And uh, it's going to ask you for a new password, right? So you can just give it a password. This is just going to be a normal password. So I'm just going to create mine right here. And it's going to ask you to re retype the password. So I'm going to do that as well. Now it's going to ask you for the name. So my f the full name, we can just call it uh, Alexis room number no we don't need to enter that work phone nothing there home phone nothing there as well other nothing is this information correct yes we want to hit y for yes and there we are that's essentially uh, how to add a non root user now you can uh, you can you could have easily have done this through by going here and going to account settings and um you know going to users and uh, as you, well for some reason we don't have any users here we'll probably have to log out and log back in uh, but you get the point and uh, the point I exactly is you when faced with a situation where you do not have a graphical user interface this is how to perform or how to do it using the terminal so uh, let's just try and log out so i'm just going to exit here and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to log out there we are log out and uh, just give it a few seconds here to start up again i'm back on my main workstation now so the performance should be marginally better with the virtual machines all right, so there we are, uh, Kali. Uh, so I'm going to enter my name here, Oop, no root, and the password. There we are. As you can see, it did work. We have an account here, but uh, the root privilege, it's not a root account. That means by default, uh, to access the root privileges, we'd have to use super user. All right, so that should be it. And uh, this was the first episode of Kali Quickie, and I've covered everything in under four minutes, and that is fantastic. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you uh, like this video or you found it had value that you, uh, you know, you found helpful, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below or on my social networks. Again, you can hit me up on Kick or on my website. There is a forum section and a question section where you can ask questions that will be featured in uh, every week's Q&A. All right. So thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.